the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. It's the site for next week's one-hour Car of the Year special. You don't want to miss it. We never miss the show either for one simple reason. The who's who of the global automotive industry are always here, and that includes Steve Carlisle. Who is Steve Carlisle? Well, he cut his teeth on the factory floor at General Motors. He then traveled the world with GM, learning every aspect of this business. Well, he's now president of General Motors Canada. And oh, by the way, he's 100% Canadian. Here's a guy who was born in Woodstock, came and worked at General Motors here in Oshawa, but then skyrocketed through the, the company, through the United States, spent time in China, spent time in Thailand. And all those experiences just add up to understanding our industry, not just in the United States, not just in Canada, but all around the world. General Motors has had a presence in Oshawa for 100 years. And when you have a Ontario boy running the place who understands how important the auto industry is to the economy, you gotta hope that every meeting he goes into, he's got one idea in mind, bring more product to our plant. To have somebody who understands this uh, business right from the shop floor makes a big difference in the insights of, of what you can do to be better. He's never forgot where he came from. He's a very down to earth young lad. He is one of the smartest people I've ever met. Um, and really, really funny. He's, uh, he's a very caring and giving person. Um, he really, uh, family is first, um, and after that, General Motors and cars. When he was about grade five, grade six, there was a school teacher, and she decided to pick out the best and the brightest of the kids in that school, and Steve was one of them. And even his teacher in high school, Ben Harris, when they would go out on a on events somewhere where they had to go outside of town. Steve was the only kid, the only kid who ever went, who took his homework with him. We met at the truck plant in Oshawa. Uh, I was working there as a summer student on the assembly line in the, in the trim department. It was almost uh, love at first sight, and we knew very quickly that uh, we would be spending the rest of our lives together. We've been through a lot together, including all of our overseas travel and uh, raising two kids, and uh, the way she puts it is I'm her biggest fan, and she's my biggest fan. Since the time we met and when I had little, our children were babies, I would hand these kids over to Steve as babies, and I'd wave goodbye and say, hey, I'll see you in a week. And even though he had all these big jobs, and he always supported me, and uh, he would be looking after little babies by himself. He did it and never complained, and it allowed me to do what I love to do. Wife who is in the Athletic Hall of Fame here in Oshawa for her incredible competitive career in skating and is now a judge on a world level. Really? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> The famous Gretzky quote is that you've got to skate to where the puck is going. That to me encapsulates Steve in many ways because he's always thinking about how we take this company not just to build the best car, uh, the best truck that we can, but to actually think about where our customers are going. What are their needs in the future? So let's imagine ourselves there and let's go to where the puck is going. Are you thinking of business? No, not till you just said that. That's you, Steve. He's a good guy. He's fun on the bench. He's fun in the dressing room. And he's getting his goals. <laughs> you ever give him advice on how to build cars? Just make them cheaper. <laughs> he's not a guy that you see hidden in his office. He's uh, somebody that is on the floor talking with people or he's out talking with our dealers and our customers. And that's what he loves to do. We work so hard behind the scenes to get these vehicles. People watch what we're doing, so it's uh, it's very valuable to me to get the, the feedback. And it's also a great opportunity to see what the competition's doing in the flesh. Well, my mother always told me, if you can't say something nice about somebody, say nothing at all. Just kidding. Um, the thing I find remarkable about Steve, not only is proud of the fact that he's a Canadian guy, is that to get to this level in any organization, you have to have a degree of toughness to you. And yet he seems to be the most personable, easygoing guy. And this combination of strength and personality uh, is something you don't find very often in this business.
His only goal is to do right by the people of General Motors Canada, and it's not about his individual success at all. They have this combination of toughness and personality. It's a fairly rare quality in an executive, and I think we're happy to have him. Very, very proud. And his mother is very proud. And she keeps telling the nurses out at the nursing home about her son, the president. You know? <laughs> he was on our team how many years ago? 25. He hasn't lost a step. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, great in addressing that, That's one of those backhanded comments. <laughs> how did you do it? I said, well, I, I don't really know. If I'm talking to kids, you know, you absolutely have to stay in school. I think where our country is, STEM education is vitally important. You know, we need engineers. Uh, we need people that are going to do what it takes to innovate. And uh, I think if you do that, you'll find, you know, huge opportunities to contribute just about anywhere you choose. You know, automotive executives can be, shall we say, a bit stuffy, but I have to admit that we have had a blast and it's been very refreshing hanging with the big cheese at General Motors for this episode. You know, someone once said that leading is all about striving to become better than we are and helping those around us become better too. Well, if that's true, I'm thinking that General Motors Canada is in pretty good hands with Steve Carlisle.